This program is brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. With the people, products, and technology to take you there, it's why they say at PennyMac, greatness lives here. Welcome to The Interest. I'm Christine Stewart. Many mortgage companies are engaged in legal battles accusing each other of poaching staff. And that raises two questions. Is there a right way and a wrong way to pluck away staff from competitors? And when it happens to you, what's the solution? Staff writer Katie Jensen takes a look for the cover story for the October issue of NMP Magazine. It's, here's what happens. You get a big branch and they've got 20 loan officers, five of them, between five of them, they do 20 million a month, and the other 15 do another three. So they move as a group, right? How much would it take to get you to leave your job and maybe bring your whole branch with you? That's the cover story for this month's NMP magazine. A $50,000 signing bonus? That's how much a former branch manager for Caliber Home Loans was offered to switch over to cross-country mortgage along with the rest of his branch, according to a lawsuit filed in May. He was offered an additional 500000 if his branch achieved $600 million in loan originations by the end of the year. But there's a difference between ethical recruiting and poaching. My suggestion to any one of the CEOs, executives, anybody like that, would be to create a company and a system that was dynamic enough retain the right people at your company without having to manage by fear. How much more of this are we going to see over the next few months? So you're going to see a lot more tug of war and, and shots fired over, you know, the recruiting that's going on because it's ramping up. because. Right now, every LO, even big producers, their their pipeline is a little lighter than it was. So now is the time to pounce for recruiting, and and we'll we'll see. I mean, you know, if um, uh, I think I think the the litigation will probably increase before it decreases. But is litigation really the answer? Several lawsuits have been filed over the past few months over allegations of poaching. A notorious example of this occurred in 2004. Deborah Killian owned a small mortgage company, Charter Oak Lending Group, and she had her small team stolen by then-mortgage giant CTX. But she unfortunately lost her case in court. In a lot of cases, those salespeople believe they own that data. They think they own the data. And I don't think there's enough discussion, really, about what trade secrets are. This was a, a case of theft and misappropriation of trade secrets. And I don't think, generally speaking, if you ask most loan originators, they would say that a customer list is not a trade secret, when in fact it is. Taking your poacher to court isn't always the best solution. Instead, Jacobs recommends divvying up the pipeline a bit and ending the relationship with your employees amicably. I would often engage in a conversation that goes like this. Let's look at the pipeline that you've got. I want to know what your expectations are. And I hear what they say, and then I inform them of what the agreement says. We've got which leads came from marketing we paid for. So we've invested money in to get that relationship. We're going to keep those. You don't get those, period. But now let's talk about self-generated leads, where we didn't invest money in them. You did that on from your... Um, if they've already, we've got a locked loan, if a loan is in processing, typically what I would do is I would say, we're going to retain those. At the end of the day, all this poaching or aggressive recruiting is taking its toll. It's making it harder on those branch managers to hire loan officers. It's making it harder on the ops manager to get underwriters. It's making it harder on everybody over something that is so unnecessary and most likely probably in your wheelhouse or your fault. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Katie Jensen. Thanks, Katie. In other news, home price growth has cooled, but that hasn't been enough to boost sales. According to CoreLogic, that trend is likely to continue for the next year. 
housing prices in the U.S. have gone up for a historic 127 straight months. But the pace has slowed down over the spring and summer. CoreLogic says prices were up on an annual basis 13.5% in August, the slowest pace since April of 2021. And that's likely to cool, of course. We knew home prices couldn't keep growing at that pace we saw earlier this year. But CoreLogic predicts an annual growth rate of only 3.2% by this time next year. The problem remains overall affordability. Even though prices are leveling off, mortgage rates keep ticking up with the 30-year fixed approaching 7%. Many hopeful buyers are still pushed out of the market. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.nemortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.nemortgageexpo.com. It had been a bright spot in the marketplace over this past few months, but according to Reverse Market Insight, Heckam loan endorsements plunged 43.5% between August and September. The top 10 lenders all posted declines, led by Longbridge Financial LLC, which saw a 71.6% decline. Mutual of Omaha dropped the least, losing just 7.3%. American Advisors Group was the top Heckam lender through September and saw a 50.2% decline in Heckam loans in September. We'll be right back with what's interesting today. This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. A mortgage originator in Texas and Georgia is trying to get the word out to gig workers that they may in fact be able to get a mortgage. Some gig workers are paid in cash and are less likely to use a bank, things that have traditionally hurt your chances of getting a mortgage. But Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have loosened their standards, and companies like Global Home Finance are coming up with specialty loans for them. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to MortgageNewsNetwork.com.